This time around on Prophets Resurrection Land Cruisers TV, the shop guys and I get ready to go to cruise Moab. We had a few projects to finish before we could leave, starting with this 1978 FJ40 that we had restored four years earlier. There was a few tweaks we needed to make before delivering it to the customer. We also had a five-speed transmission to put in this HJ61. Lastly, of course, our own stuff needed some new tires and a few tweaks before we went to the big event. This HJ61 Toyota Land Cruiser came with a 12HT turbo diesel. The 12HT is one of Toyota's best, with 134 horsepower and over 230 pounds of torque. The problem is, a lot of that horsepower is robbed back by the A440F automatic transmission that's in it. It's a great tranny, but you can really bring these things to life with a 5-speed conversion. The transmission we're going to use for this swap is a Toyota H55F. Because this transmission was offered in an HJ61, we could do the conversion using all OEM parts. After a job well done like that, it's time for a snack. There's always, come go and see burger. Cookie? Oh, you can't have a cookie right now. I can't have a cookie. Can't have a cookie because you, these cookies are made entirely of molasses. I don't know where they get the mold. I'm going to put this cookie over here for you on the trash can lid. That's fine. Come here, These wheels are from a Ford, but somehow I've got to get them to fit on a Toyota. As we say every day, everything has to be modified. With the five speed going in nicely, it was time to turn our attention to some other things that this cruiser needed. Just about every Land Cruiser needs a knuckle rebuild at some point. That entails all the axle seals in the front end and lots of grease and a lot of mess. With the Ford centers cut out of the new 17-inch wheels and new Toyota centers being welded in, I knew it wouldn't be long before we could mount up the Cooper SST Pro 37-inch tires that I ordered for the Mega Cruiser. Cruise Moab was right around the corner. We had a couple of days left, but it looked like we were going to make the deadline. With the 5-speed swap completed and the knuckle rebuild almost finished, this HJ61 is about ready to go back to the ground. Even the owner stopped by to bolt up a few parts that he'd picked up from 4 Plus Industries. With the wheels for the Mega Cruiser at the powder coater, I had some time to fold up some rocker protection. Hopefully this covers up the damage I did to it last cruise Moab. The FJ40 project we had was almost done. All that was left was a detail job. This has to look really good because we're going to use it as a presentation piece at vendor night. I come to the job prepared. You have three rags in your pockets. You can't videotape me. I am videotaping you. Do it. Caesar, can I videotape you? Business here. Caesar says I can videotape him. Relax. Relax. Wow, that's crazy. We performed a body-off custom restoration on this 1978 FJ40 about four years ago. It sports one of our most popular 5.3 liter Vortec Chevy engine swaps. This 5.3 Vortec is coupled to a 4L60E automatic transmission and then back to the factory Land Cruiser transfer case. The factory-like appearance makes this a great swap. On and off-road drivability is enhanced by four-wheel disc brakes and Saginaw power steering. This power plant is kept cool by a robust cooling system with an aluminum radiator and electric fans. You can barely notice, but anytime we install a 5.3 Vortec in an FJ40, we stretch the wheelbase about 3 inches. This factory wheel well opening has been moved back to accommodate the longer transmission. Up front is a Profits Cruisers custom front bumper with winch. In the rear, our custom dual swing out rear bumper provides easy access to the rear doors of the Land Cruiser. The driver can monitor the engine and other vehicle systems using the auto meter gauge panel. Aftermarket air conditioning sits under the dash and vehicle traction is enhanced by a pair of ARB air lockers. 
The switches for the lockers are located in a custom ashtray switch panel. An overhead console housing two speakers and an overhead light is part of the Profits Cruiser's six-point family roll cage. This roll cage is designed for maximum interior space and especially in the footwell area. All Profits Cruiser's fabrication is done in-house. Another pair of 6x9 speakers are enclosed in custom speaker enclosures in the rear cargo area. A pair of Corbo seats and a Tuffy security console complete the cockpit in this Land Cruiser. If you own an FJ40 or any model Land Cruiser, consider Profits Resurrection Land Cruisers for all your restoration and custom needs. One of the fun things about getting ready for any event is that it usually means new swag for the guys in the shop and for the customers. I always use Ernie at Corsair Graphics for our t-shirts and he always comes through. These things look great. Last minute, it's always okay and he's a super good guy to work with. Thank you Ernie. You're very welcome. Yeah, I appreciate it. Right Everything looks awesome. Yeah. Even though the cruise Moab deadline was quickly approaching, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to install one of our 60 series bumpers on an FJ62 that belongs to one of our favorite customers. This FJ62 was outfitted with a dual swing out bar which has provisions for a spare tire carrier and a cooler rack or jerry cans. It was finally time to get rid of the 37 inch 17 fives that came on the Mega Cruiser from the factory and install the Cooper 37 inch SST Pros. I was excited to have some traction plus it looks great. The new rocker panel protection looks good too. Right before we left for Cruise Moab, we got a surprise package from a totally awesome customer. New shoes for everybody in the shop. The guys loved them and everybody promised not to get grease on them. How do they feel? Really good. And just like that, it was time to go to Moab. The guys were all ready and there's nothing like a convoy of Land Cruisers. Cruise Moab is an event put on by the Rising Sun Toyota 4x4 Club based out of Denver, Colorado. It is a TLCA sanctioned event that attracts people from all over the world. These Toyota enthusiasts gather together to be among like-minded Land Cruiser people and also to experience everything that this beautiful area has to offer. One of the events at Cruise Moab is Vendor Night. Vendor Night affords the opportunity for cruiser shops and 4x4 companies around the country to showcase their products for the Cruise Moab crowd. This year's Cruise Moab vendors included Colorado Toyota Specialists, Cruiser Outfitters, Gamma Viti, Land Cruiser Heritage Museum, Marlin Crawler, Nitro Gear and Axle, Outdoor by 4 Magazine, Outer Limit Supply, Slee Off-Road, and Land Cruisers Direct. It was a great vendor night and I think everybody really enjoyed themselves. With vendor night behind us, it was time to get out and hit some trails. We decided to join our friend Joe Kaligi from Colorado Toyota Specialists on Moab Rim. The beginning of each trail usually consists of an air down session. It's important to air your tires down when off-roading so that the tire can wrap around the rocks and provide the most traction possible. Moab Rim is a moderate to difficult trail on the south side of the Colorado River near Moab. It climbs over 1300 feet of elevation as you ascend to a spectacular view of the city. Beautiful views of the Colorado River make it hard to keep your eye on the trail. Trail breakage is common and this FJ80 bent the steering linkage. Some quick ingenuity and some help from friends got him back on the trail in no time.
With a wheelbase of over 134 inches and a width of nearly 86 inches, Toyota didn't really design the Mega Cruiser for serious off-roading. Luckily, the 37-inch OEM tires and factory rear wheel steering allowed the Mega Cruiser to make its way up the Z-turn without any damage. Unfortunately, before we knew it, it was time to head back down the trail. The downhill portion of Moab Rim is right next to the edge of the cliff, and in a right-hand drive vehicle, that's all you can think about. Often there's a drop off of several hundred feet right to the river. Even though we had to head back to the shop tomorrow and get to work on some cruisers in the next episode of Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruisers TV, at least we had one more night of fun and the raffle to bid farewell to the great town of Moab. Hey guys, thanks to the uh, committee and, and all the participants. Cruise Moab is a very special event. I've been to all of them but one in 2011. And you are the reason for strapping some gloves. And the ticket number is 316-008-316-008. In the back, we got a winner. Dang it! Dang it! That was terrible, Mark. It's not gotcha. fair. We... <laughs> Mark doesn't care. How do you zoom out? The thing on the top. This. Away from you is this. You're gonna fire me as your videographer. Yeah, so. you're fired. Are you recording right now? Yeah. I should have said. No, I can't use that. Alright, now let's go get the mole-ass cookie mask. <laughs> Not one time, whatever. Mole-asses. Bob, mole-ass cookie? <laughs> Yee-haw! Yee-haw! Whee! Yee-haw! 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 Find it? Oh. Okay, ready? Here, you're rolling. Yep. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Prophet, and I want to talk to you a little bit about this 1978 FJ40 that we built. This truck was built about four and a half. No, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop with We Built. Okay, okay. I'm going to roll it again. I'll make it a little bit longer, but then we'll start the narrating. Okay. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Prophet. <laughs> Thank you.